And I'd never been to the movies by myself. And a new movie came out and I wanted to see it. I called a couple of friends and none of them were available to go to the movies or they didn't even want to see it. And I realized since Mark had passed, I had forgotten about how to take care of myself. I forgot about things that I enjoyed for me. And I realized, how could I even start dating someone if I didn't date myself first? So what I want to talk to you today is about self-love and caring for yourself. Because before you start dating other people, date yourself first. The process of dating me was going to the movies and taking myself to dinner. I actually realized there were some restaurants that I had been going to over the years because Mark liked them. I really didn't care for them. But when I started dating me, I started identifying what were the things that I purely liked for my own self-pleasure. Not to satisfy someone else, but to satisfy what pleased me. I started going to different restaurants. I started going to see different movies. I interacted with friends differently than I did before. Is this the life that I wanted? No, but it is the life that I have. And I realized the more I started to shrink back from life and isolate, that I wasn't very sociable. I was becoming stuck in the sadness of my home. And so originally, so originally, it was not about dating somebody else. It was about my own self-love and self-care. I returned to getting my nails done. I returned to going to long walks and exercising. And those types of activities fed my soul. And it allowed me to find joy in life again. So I encourage you, even though this conversation is about dating a widow, and you are the widow, I want you to date yourself. Because when you decide that you want to present somebody else to come into your life, you will have a clear idea of what it is that you like. What you like now may be muddled between what your spouse enjoyed and what you enjoy doing with them. Now in this season of your life is the opportunity to find out what it is that you like and embrace that. Enjoy that. It may even be a little scary because this is uncharted territory, but I encourage you to pick something once a week. Maybe it's a book that you thought about reading, or maybe it's sleeping in a little bit longer, or maybe it's getting up early and going for a drive to check out a new beach or a park that you've always thought about doing. But embrace yourself, love on yourself, allow yourself to have joy in this moment in your life. Let me know the things that you think about doing. And don't forget to subscribe and check us out next Friday on Dating a Widow.